Okay, this is Swagger at SwearingAtVideoGames.com, and we are doing Velvet Assassin. Uh, this is a great game. It's a stealth game, kind of like a Splinter Cell. Um, if you really do it right, you can kill most people silently. Unfortunately, there is a few sections that you're going to have to shoot your way through. And uh, there are five collectibles in this mission. The thing to note about this game is you cannot miss a single collectible. If you replay a mission, it will reset everything. So you really need to follow along and get everything as you go uh, to save yourself the trouble of multiple playthroughs. Uh, one thing to note is that most of these guys are very aware of their surroundings and you can't just run up. That's your first guy, so he's not aware at all. And also the note is this first mission has a secret objective to kill everyone silently. So you want to be careful. If you get seen, you're going to have to reload. You can reload checkpoints, but you cannot go back in the save menu and uh, restart. Now they're also going to put you in a lot of situations where you're going to have to listen to long, boring conversations about how much the Germans hate everything that they're doing. This one isn't as long as some of them. Uh, to save time from here on out, I'm just going to skip through them. You're going to be playing the game, so you're going to listen to them. It's not really anything story. It's just uh, the fact that all Germans are crazy, pretty much. Shadows are your friend. You can get pretty close. It's actually kind of ridiculous. Um, I could have been right there with that guy. And da boom Also note, for upgrades, I put all my upgrades into stealth um, because it makes you faster. And then you want to search this guy for the second collectible. The third collectible is right around the crates here. Crawl under. Okay, and if you stay to the back of this area here, uh, you won't be seen. If you push up too much, uh, they will see you. And this is going to be your first use of morphine. Morphine pretty much gets you in La La Land. You can just blaze through things. So on the 360, just hit X. And you can, we can walk right up to this guy in our creepy film noir section here. And just, oh, just straight through. Now pull him. There's our secret achievement for getting through all the possible enemies. Pull him back. Search him for the key. Your next collectible is over here. And the last one is in those tents. Uh, not really tense, but like corrugated steel sheds. So you got to sneak out here. Just kind of see that guy's head. And as soon as he starts going back, you can go over there. In these videos, I am as silent as I can be. There gets to be a point in most of these missions where you really have no way. And you'll see what I'm talking about as we go through. Like I said, every time I got a skill point for the first five, I put it into stealth because that was my big concern. Is that when you're crouching like that, you are slower, and later the guys don't pause for as long as these guys do. A lot of waiting. A lot of patience in this game. If you want to be 100% stealth. Okay, and as he starts going back...
Head in, and boom, there you go. Level 1 complete. They get longer from here.